All right. Looks like we are live on Facebook again. Um, I've been posting these to the devchat.tv Facebook page. If you want to go watch it, um, this is the DevRev Show. Welcome to the revolution. Uh, this week, we're going to be answering a quick question, or today, I should say, because I answer a few of these every week. Um, I got a question on Twitter that I'm going to be answering. Um, if you want me to answer your question, just uh, at mention me or DM me on Twitter. Um, I'm CMAXW. C M A X W. Um, I got this question from developer one one two five. There's not really a name on that account, so I don't know uh, anything more about them other than that they're on Twitter. Um, it says, "What is the advice you can give an experienced front end developer with so a solid track who wants to pursue his career as a back end developer?" Um, and and this is interesting. We we get a lot of questions about how to get a job. Um, we get a few about how to do job transitions, but the, it all boils down to the same thing, right? Um, and that is why do you get hired, right? Why did they give you the job to do the front end development, and why would they give you the job to do the back end development? And what it boils down to is: Are you capable of doing the job? Do I like working with you? I mean, those those are the two big two biggies, right? Or if you don't know how to do the job, can you figure it out? quick enough to make it worth the money. Um, but, but essentially, when, when it's all said and done, it's, do you get the outcomes that I want without being too much pain? Pain being that I, how much I pay you or pain being uh, how I have to work with you, you know, are you good to work with or bad to work with you? So um, essentially, what you have to do is you have to show them that you can do that job and do it in a way that makes sense. So if if you can let's say your back end is Java, it's Express or Koa or something like that, then that's a little bit easier because you're essentially transitioning from JavaScript to JavaScript. And so the language fundamentals transfer directly, even if the framework fundamentals don't. And you can work through a lot of the stuff there just by getting by it. But let's say that you're a front end developer. Let's say you're working with, I don't know, TypeScript or Dart or something like that, right? And you're making the transition to Ruby or C Sharp or Java or, you know, any number of other languages, Python. And so that, that transition is a little bit trickier. Uh, a lot of the programming fundamentals still hold, right? You, if, if, you're trans, if you're transitioning from JavaScript to, say, Elixir, Clojure or something like that, it might be a little bit more of a stretch depending on how functional your front end code is and how that transfers to the, you know, how functional the back end code is because Elixir and uh, these other languages are functional programming languages, uh, you know, similar with the object oriented languages. So just keep that in mind. But since you already have programming experience, it shouldn't take a lot for you to make the transition. Um, if you're trying to transition within the company you're working at, uh, what I would do is I would just go talk to my boss or go talk to the head of the back end team and just say, look, um, I want I want to make a change. I want to work on the back end. Here are the reasons why. Here's what I think I can contribute right now. And, you know, what what do you need me to know in order to make this work? And then just go learn that stuff, right? If you come back in a month or two and say, hey, look, I figured this crap out. I'm super excited to come work for you. Then you can start have a conversation and it shows a lot of initiative and you'd be the kind of person that I would want to hire if you're doing that kind of thing. Um, if you want to make the transition to another company and sometimes you get kind of pigeonholed in the company you're in and so that that kind of move just won't be possible. Uh, um, on the company, I'm, I'm not saying that it is or isn't possible wherever you're at. Um, but if you're looking to make that transition and you need to go to another company, then what I would do is the same advice that I've given to the last few people who were asking about freelancing. And that is, is I'd go out, um, I'd build a couple of side projects on the back end system of your choice. I would uh, put up some YouTube videos, some blog posts, whatever, about what you're learning or how you're doing it. And then when you go apply to these other jobs, then you can start saying, hey, I've got this podcast or hey, I've got a YouTube channel about whatever. And you can start to make that transition work for you in that way. And then you've got proof that you know what you're doing, even if it's at a basic level. You can also leverage the fact that you have a lot of experience on the front end stuff and say, look, I've been programming for 10 years. I've just, you know, I'm just newish to Rails or newish to Django or whatever. And you should be able to 
leverage that into moving into the other position. Um, and, and that's, that's the approach that I would really take on. That. Um, but yeah, I would start with the company you work at. They've got a lot invested in you. You already understand their systems. You understand how they work. You understand what the products are. You understand a lot of things that they'd have to teach somebody else if they brought them in, even if they're an expert programmer. And so I would talk to them first and just be like, look, I like it here. I, you know, this is kind of the direction I want to go and see if you can make that work. And then if you can't, then yeah, go, go out, do the social proof stuff, get to know people. I outlined how to do all this stuff in my book. I don't have time to go through it all right now, but go meet people, go to meetups, um, you know, show them that you know what you're doing, uh, learn from them, and then parlay that into getting a job. I hope that helps. I, get, I feel like I'm giving a lot of the same advice at the end as far as how to get another job, but um, hopefully you can make it work where you're at, especially if you like it there. Um, and I'm, I'm a big advocate for people place to be and, and staying happy um you know i mean sometimes things change things change for you or for the company or for both and you're gonna you're gonna want to move on but a lot of times you're, you're just happy so if you're happy where you're at stay where you're at um but yeah that that's my advice on that that's where i would go with this so uh yeah if you have any other questions folks email me chuck at devchat.tv you can also tweet at me at cmaxw um i am going to be going and looking at the um devchat.tv facebook group or facebook group facebook page so i'll be looking for questions there as well um, and finally you can also go join the discord channel and uh hook up with us there and then you can ask questions in the devrev podcast channel so anyway lots of ways to reach us uh looking forward to getting more stuff out there but yeah that that's where i'd come in